uh, welcome to videos on data converters so we are looking into r to r tag simulation now this is the uh, 8 series of uh, tag videos so we shall see the simulation of r to r network using uh, lt spice and we'll just uh, try to get confidence on the working of r to r tag so let us uh, go for I can say this is the R to R network. So here we have connected resistors uh, to R and R. The value of uh, R is now 5 kilo ohms, whereas 2R is 10k. Now we can see we have the 2R, R, 2R. This is again R. Uh, at the extreme uh, LSB, we have the 2R and 2R connected. So this 2R is permanently grounded. Now uh, we have actually 4 bit uh, uh, DAC. So we have uh, this is the LSB, so which is now uh, taken as low. Here we can see we have two reference voltages. One is uh, uh, 5 volt, other is 0 volt. So we have this as B1, this is B2, B3, B4. So we have made uh, only B1 as high, that is MSB is high, and we have uh, the all other bits like uh, B2, B3, B4 are all the three are. Uh, 0, 0, 0. So this MSB is high. Now we have a, a non inverting amplifier with a gain of 2. Now we have RF and R is equal to 10k, 10k. So this will give a gain of 2. Now with this MSB bit as high, so we are supposed to get, since this uh, high voltage is 5 volt, we are supposed to get V1 as half of uh, this 5. That means we are supposed to get 2.5 volts here. So this 2.5 is applied to the non voting amplifier with a gain of 2. So ultimately we are supposed to get a gain of, or get an output voltage of uh, 5 volts. So let us uh, simulate and see now. So we are running it. Now let us see the voltage at the uh, input which is high here. You can see now it is 5 volts. So let us see the voltage at pin number. Uh, this is V1. So we can see now V1 is, this is V1. So V1 happens to be 2.5 volts. So we know that uh, this effective resistance looking uh, towards the left side is now total R. So we have one more R here. So this 5 volt is applied between this 10K and this 5K plus 5K that is again 10K. So we'll have the voltage at V1 is half of this high which is 2.5 volts. That 2.5 voltage is applied as the input for your non voting amplifier which has got a gain of uh, 2. So naturally the output voltage is input of 2.5 multiplied by the gain of 2 which happens to be the output voltage which will be uh, 5 volts. Now we can see the output voltage is also 5. So this is output voltage. The voltage at V1 is uh, 2.5. So you can simultaneously see both of them. Now this is, uh, so let me just see both of them. So V1 is, as you can see this is uh, cursor one is uh, V of V1 which is 2.5 whereas V of output is uh, 5 volts almost 4.999 so output voltage is 5 volt which is nothing but V1 multiplied by the gain the gain is now 2 V1 is half of the V reference so let us uh, change this uh, input combination let me give uh, give this B2 as high and all others as 0 0 0 so we are supposed to get V1 as uh, 5 by 4. So let me do that. So let me just, uh, so let me select this. So I want to make it high. I just uh, take this high and connect it to this here. And uh, I will short this. B1 will be made now 0. So since B3 is already 0, let me just connect it to the same. Now we have made actually this is 0, 1, 0, 0. So we have MSB 0 and B2 is 1 and other two bits are also 0, 0. So we are supposed to get the voltage here at V1 as uh, V reference. Actually V2 will be V reference by 2. This will be V reference by 4. Uh, now the output will be V reference by 4 multiplied by 2. So let us run it now and see what happens. So now this is running. As you can see now the voltage at V1. The voltage at V1 will be 
so let me select this this is the voltage at v1 so voltage at v1 is you can see this is v of v1 it is 1.25 so that is at this uh, node the voltage is 1.25 which happens to be v reference by 4 now here it is at v2 we'll be having v reference by 2 that is 2.5 you can see this v of v2 so let me just uh, again see it see now this is v of v2 is actually uh, but this is effectively 1.85 here so we have this is uh, the voltage at this point whereas v7 will be 2.1 volts the voltage at uh, v1 the voltage at v1 will be exactly one fourth of v reference so that's what we uh, verified in the uh, previous video so we have seen that the voltage at v1 is actually so let me just uh, take out this so v2 will not be exactly 2.5 but we will have let me select this so we are not interested in this v2 if you actually measure the voltage at v1 when you are given the input voltage here as 5 so this v1 voltage will be 2. Point, uh, it will be v reference by 4 so let me just see the voltage at v1 if you see the voltage at v1 it is 1.25 which is v reference by 4 now this is 1.25 multiplied by the gain of uh, uh, 2 so the output total will be 2.5 volts so let me just uh, see the uh, voltage over there that is the output voltage now so let me see the output voltage here See now the output voltage is exactly 2.5 that is this is 1.25 multiplied by the gain of 2 so let us uh, make the lsb or make uh, this bit high that is now this is 0 0 1 we'll, we shall make it and try to find out what happens so for that what i'll do is i'll select this i'll okay let that be high so let me move this I to I just move this this high is moved let me move this I want to be again low now I will connect Uh, let me just do the connection and then come back uh, now you can see we have made this as zero this is low here both are low low this is b1 b2 only b3 is made high so since this is high here so we're going to have this as uh, the voltage at this point is uh, one eighth of five so here we're going to have uh, one eighth of five will be that is five by eight which will be 625 uh, millivolts so at v1 we're going to have 625 millivolts that 625 millivolts will be multiplied by two times we're going to get 1.25 volts here so let me just uh, run and see what is the voltage at v1 okay this is the voltage at v1 what we have the voltage at v1 is now as you can see now the voltage at v1 is uh, 625 millivolts whereas the output voltage will be that multiplied by two we are having it as uh, can just have a look at this so this is so let me just again measure the voltage here you can see the voltage is 1.25 that is so if i make this as high so we're going to have the voltage here as one eighth of uh, the reference voltage suppose if i make this high and all others as low since the uh, msb is zero and all other bits are zero except the lsb the voltage uh, at v1 will be uh, v reference divided by 2 power 4 so that is uh, v reference is 5 5 divided by 2 power 4 will be 16 so we're going to have 2 power 4 by 16 that is uh, uh, sorry 2 power 4 by 4 that is 5 by 16 so 625 divided by uh, 2 will be around 300 12.5 millivolts will be the voltage at V1 if I make this high and all other bits as low and low. Let me just do that and try to find out okay what is the voltage at V1.
Now in this 4 bit DAC, we have made the LSB as high and all other 3 bits are low, low, uh, all are low. Now we are supposed to get the voltage at V1 as V reference by 16 here. So V reference by 16 that is 5 by 16 which happens to be 312.5 millivolts. So that will be multiplied by 2 here which is the gain of the amplifier. We are supposed to get 300 sorry 625 millivolts. So let us verify and try to see what is the voltage that we are getting at V1 when only LSB is high. So when LSB is high you can see the voltage at V1 is uh, uh, voltage at V1 which is the blue one. So this is you can see now I can just verify. So we have at uh, this is uh, 5 volts for this point it will be 312.5 so that's what we are having here so this is what is blue is v1 it is 312.5 so let us find what is the output voltage which is green one so green one is almost uh, 625 millivolts meaning this 312.5 is multiplied by 2 we are having almost uh, twice of that that is 625 millivolts meaning if the msb is high we will going to get v1 as v reference by 2 so if this is high and all other bits are low, we are going to get it as a V reference by 4. If this is high and all other bits are 0, we are going to get it as V reference by 8. If it, this is high and all other bits are 0, we are going to have it as V reference by 16. So that will be multiplied by the uh, gain, which is in this particular case, which is a gain of 2. So let us try to give a, a square way of a different frequency and try to see the staircase from the same circuit. Uh, now you can see we have used uh, these pulses to give the signals for uh, the different digital inputs B1, B2, B3, B4. I have been given like pulses. Carefully observe the uh, frequencies. So the time period is 10 millisecond. This is on time. This is total time period. So this is 20, 40. This is 40, 80. This is 80, 160. So let us see how does the waveform of uh, this is MSB, this is LSB here. So let me just uh, see what does the how does the waveform looks like. So you can carefully observe. So this is B4, uh, which is the LSB. So this is keep changing. You can see this V1 is MSB. So MSB is uh, having the maximum time here. So we know that the output voltage is uh, this is for uh, uh, 0, 0, 0. The output voltage is 0 here. So now it is LSB is 1. It is 1, 0, 0, 0. We're going to have one sixteenth of the V reference multiplied by the gain. So this is how you can see this stair is keep on increasing. So you, you can observe, you can just take out this uh, and then uh, observe the staircase uh, much more clearly. You can see now this is a staircase. So this is for the voltage and this is for 0, 0, 0. Next, and this is for 0, next it is 1, 2, 3, 4, up to this is all 111. So we're going to have a staircase. So this is what is one LSB. 
so this time is decided by the uh, time period of your pulses